today I wanted to tell you a story about the legend of Kamara Island. Let me start now and enjoy it. A long time ago, there was a kingdom in South Sumatra. The king had a very beautiful daughter. Her name was Siti Fatima. She was single. Many young men fell in love with her. However, they did not have any courage to propose her. The king wanted his daughter only to marry a rich man. One day, a plane from China arrived. The captain of the plane was Padmura. He was a prince. He came to South Sumatra to do business. He planned to stay for several months. He wanted to ask the king's permission. I will let you stay here and do this business. But remember, you have to share your problem, said the king. I agree, your majesty, said Pandukan. Since then, Pandukan often came to the palace. He met Siti Fatima several times. He really admired her beauty. He tried to find out more about her. He wanted to be rich. After a while, Tan Bunan felt it was time for him to propose to the Fatima. He talked to the king. Hmm, I will let you marry my daughter, but you have to give me nine big jars filled with gold. Said the king. Tan Bunan sent a WhatsApp message to his parents in China. The parents sent him nine big jars filled with gold by using a ship to cover the gold from the thief. The parents put some vegetables on top of the gold. Later, the nine big jars arrived at the pier of the river. Tan Bukhan was so surprised. When he opened the cover of the jar, he saw rotten vegetables. He only looked at the top of the jar. He did not search at the bottom of the jar. Hmm, maybe the gold is in the second jar. Thought Sandra. Again, he did not find the gold. Sandra was so angry. He threw the jar into the river. Every time he did not see any gold in the jar, he always threw it. However, when he threw the last jar, the jar crashed into the vessel. Pieces of gold hidden underneath the rotten vegetables were revealed. He knew he made a mistake. He immediately jumped to the river. He wanted to collect the gold. Siti Fatima saw what was happening. She waited for Tan Bukhan at the river bed, but he never showed up. She also wanted to jump and help him. Before she jumped, she told her guards a message. If you see a pile of soil at the river bed, and that's me, it is my grave. Then she jumped to the river. The guards waited and waited. After several days, the people saw a pile of soil. The soil was getting bigger and bigger. It finally became an island. The people named it Kamaro Island. Kamaro is from word of Kamaro. It means Drew City. The people named it that because the island is never drawn, although the level of the water in the Mizzou River is high. The moral value of this story is don't easily get angry for something you don't really know what the fact is. And don't make a decision when you are angry or you regret it. In the story, Tan didn't change.
check one inside the jar and easily got angry. He threw the jars and then he regretted it. I think that's all from me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.